guys, this is here RG2, and recently LEGO has won the lawsuit against Leapin. So, what exactly happened? Two years ago, LEGO sued Leapin. Uh, I made a video about it. Uh, it kind of sucked, but oh well. So, now Leapin has to pay uh, 4.5 million RMB, which is about 650,000 USD. Uh, to Lego as damages mainly for copying the three-dimensional artworks of 18 Lego sets and these 18 sets consisted sets from the Nexo Knights Chima and the Ninjago theme so the first one Leapin 14012 Nexus Knights Rumble Blade this is uh, Nexo Knights obviously uh, 14008 Nexo Knights King's Mecha or Mech I'm not really sure this is uh, Ninjago 06025 Ninja Bite Chase 06024 Coast Dragon 06027 Elemental Dragon 06026 Sky Shark 14005 Evil Mobile this is Nexo Knights, uh, 1406, Four Cracks, 14011, Queen's uh, Capture, 14007, Murloc's Library, 04009, Fire Lion, this is Chima, and 06020, Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty of Ninjago, obviously, Titan Max, 06019, 14004, Chaos Carrot, this is Nexo Knights, 14003, Lava Smasher, 14002, Mecha Horse, 04024, King Eskew or Rescue. I'm not sure who made the mistake there, but 04022, Rumble Bear. And these two sets are from Chima. And this list was uh, sent by Leapin to uh, all of their retailers and uh, thanks to everyone in the community for sharing this list and the other damages are for copying multiple lego minifigures i'm not sure how many but yeah and also for carrying out unfair competition acts probably like making the sets cheaper i'm not really sure so in the article on the lego website they did mention about all of the other uh, legal victories that they had uh, in the past uh, two years and I'll list the two main ones that they had so the first one is they have won uh, a lawsuit against Bella for copying Lego friends line in October of 2017 and the second one is the Lego logo and work uh, mark were recognized by Beijing High Court as uh, well-known trademarks in China but um, very few companies dare to copy the LEGO logo and the name. Um, I've only seen it once. Well, so what are the reactions uh, from both sides, LEGO fans and knockoff LEGO fans? Um, well, so for LEGO, they are like, That's good news. And the LEGO fans are like, Ah, victory. Even though it's a small win. Because Leaping can still make themes other than Nexo Knights, Chima, and Ninjago, which uh, Nexo Knights and Chima have been retired, and um, like only uh, canceling the Ninjago line is um, a loss for them because uh, Ninjago is still continuing, and they can probably can't make sets from them anymore, or else Lego will sue them even more harder. And yeah, but other than that, I think uh, Leapin is still good. And for the Leapin side, uh, Leapin, they did lose a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, the money that they need to pay is not much at all for them. They can just make the money in probably a few weeks. And like I said before, the only loss for them is Ninjago. So if LEGO continues the lawsuit, um, expect the rest of the Ninjago, Nexo Knights, and Chima sets to be cancelled or taken down by LEGO along with all of the other themes that have been made by LEGO like City, Technic, Creator, and a couple other themes. Star Wars and Marvel uh, and other licensed themes won't be affected unless companies that own them step in like Disney who owns Star Wars and Marvel. So overall, what are my thoughts on this? Well, 
I do hope that Li Pin will still be around because a lot of people in the community still need them because they have poor economy and they are poor and they can't buy uh, official LEGO sets in their country because it's just too expensive for them but they still want to play with uh, LEGO and you know have fun so yeah I think Li Pin uh, should still be around and in the worst case scenario if Li Pin gets taken down I think they they most likely have a plan B or a plan C. Well, I think um, the plan B is probably Zingbao. So, yeah, uh, I know what LEGO doing is um, right, but yeah, I still want them to be around. And, you know, maybe LEGO and Li Pin can coexist without suing each other. And I also know what Li Pin doing is wrong, but I think they should still be around. But they most likely won't get uh, taken down because it's very hard it's uh lego has sued them for two years and they only taken down 18 sets and that's not very much and uh, that doesn't like really affect leaping that much and i say they probably won't be gone so yeah that's uh pretty much it for my thoughts so what are your thoughts on this be sure to write them down in the comments below and i will check it out and um i do know that uh the hate comments are probably coming uh, because I support Leapin, but I really don't. Um, I kind of support Lego and Leapin for what they are doing. So I'll put a link to all of the articles that I have uh, used in this video uh, down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to click the icon on the left to subscribe. And if you want to watch more videos, make sure to click the two icons on the right to watch a video. So that's pretty much it for a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.